Community health centers have been around since the early 1970s, but they're a fairly new concept for most people. In fact, across the province, there's a little joke, and it's often said that community health centers are one of Ontario's best kept secrets. Well, we want to change that. We want to make sure that more people know about the community health center model of care, and that it's available to them, because it makes such a profound difference in someone's life. And today's video, the client testimonials that you'll be hearing, capture how powerful of an impact community health centers are making on an individual's life. My family and I started going coming to Bridges about three or four years ago uh, at a time when we were struggling finding a doctor who met our health needs. Uh, in particular, we had family members who had significant illnesses that were not being addressed and appointments were taking months to deal with those significant issues. Uh, so we basically felt that as the medical system was treating us, we were without a family doctor that was taking care of us. So we applied for attending Bridges and we were accepted as a family. At the time it was four of us and there are now six of us attending Bridges and we've never been happier with the health care that we've received. Hi, my name's Lisa. I've been a client of Bridges for two and a half years. Um, I've worked with a lot of the resources I have fibromyalgia, so it affects a lot of my body, my different nerves and muscles and whatnot. The, the doctor that I used to go to before, he didn't have any of the resources or actually a lot of the knowledge that I needed for a doctor to have. And uh, when I came to Bridges, they were able to diagnose me, which the other doctor had not and they were able to get me the resources that, um, resources that I needed to live everyday life. Uh, my name is Liz Seeger. I'm uh, 58 years old, legally blind, uh, diabetic, and have multiple other health problems. Um, and that's why Bridges is extremely important to me. That's the reason why I came here. My other doctor wasn't performing the way I accepted, and I came to Bridges to like I said, fill in the gaps, find out if there was anything else that it could be done for me. So I came here with my mother and uh, she's 78 years old. So we needed to find a local uh, facility to uh, be able to help us with all our health needs. And in so doing, um, Bridges has more than fulfilled that. Bridges Health Centre. They have an excellent staff here. There's Marcy Turple, registered nurse and a diabetic um, expert, and also Christina Dupont, who is a registered dietitian. With the help of these two people, we can control my diabetes in a very easy way. It's not difficult, and also it's a lot of fun. I've had, I've suffered with depression most of my life, um, and now I'm seeing Len, and he is, he's amazing. He's gotten me to, he's, he's, he's helped me out with a lot of the things that I've been dealing with for like the past 20 years. Um, I've worked with Lori on a few things. Um, the doctors here are amazing. I work with Mark. He's more of a pain specialist for me. Um, and he's, he's really helped me get to where I'm actually comfortable on living life. I didn't have any uh, sneakers to exercise. So the nurse practitioner gave me a pair of her sneakers so I could exercise. Now, where would you get that? It's unheard of. And she also brought me a couple of pairs of sandals to wear because we left with just the clothes on our backs. So, I mean, who does that? I mean, it's just, uh, I don't know. 
when I think about that, it really, you know, it really touched me very deeply because I feel I can, um, when I'm talking to them, no matter which staff member I'm talking to, they really listen to me. They don't pretend like they're listening. It's not like um, they're just checking you off. They know because the next time you come in, they'll ask you about previous stuff that you had to deal with and they want to know if you're doing okay and they'll give you advice. And um, it's easier to, to get advice and follow it when somebody is empathetic. During my time with uh, Bridges Community Health Center, I've seen what I feel is the perfect model of people-centered care. When we come in with an issue, any, any member of my family, um, it's explained to us in plain English what we're going to be treating, it's assessed, and they actually listen to us instead of trying to diagnose without hearing what's wrong directly from the patient. Um, I've had many experiences in the past where a doctor basically far too quickly makes an assessment on the first two or three sentences that I have said or that a patient has said. And I believe that the doctors and the staff at Bridges are always willing and able to listen and communicate effectively with the patient and put together a treatment plan that really works uh, and a diagnosis that they actually follow up on as well. So they not only listen, but they actually follow up. There's appointments made as a follow up for, for everything where there should be to make sure that the treatment is effective. Once I found out that they offered these extra services, I had no idea that existed here. Um, and that I, it was free of charge. And all I had to do was say, yes, I want to participate. It gave me the impression that um, my recovery was up to me. And if I put whatever I put into it, not if I put into it, but whatever I put into it, I'm going to get it back. And I wasn't sure at first whether the people that were doing it, like Crystal and David from Physio and Maureen from the dietitian, I didn't know if it was just words or what. But over the few months that I've been working on this, it's proven that I proved to myself that they're really into it as well. As long as, as, um, as I put something in, they're going to put something in too. And so, like uh, Dr. Mark says, it's reciprocal. Um, I am sick and tired of being sick. We work together with community partners such as Port Cares, community living, uh, our local schools, and much many more community partners to try and bring health to the community. So it's about how can we really affect change, not just with people on an individual level, but at the whole community level. I uh, love the whole concept I have since it was opened. I like the idea that it's kind of one-stop shopping. They have so many experts under one roof. They deal with so many issues. Uh, they, they, they look at nutrition, they look at uh, your physical health, your emotional health, and no matter what your health concern is, they have somebody there that can help you. So it, it's really great. Uh, it's, it's something great for the community of Fort Erie. I also like the fact that the sessions that they offered are offered both during the day and at night. So for working people, they can come and do their things at night. And those of us that are seniors and retired often come to the daytime programs. Uh, they look at the whole person and it's a preventative model. It's not looking at the disease. It's, it's, it's all sorts of new and innovative ideas to help prevent disease and to help people feel better about themselves. 
I, I think it's ideal for Fort Erie because uh, we have a, a, first of all, we have a, a, a very large immigrant refugee population. And we also now, unfortunately, are going through bad economic times, and a lot of people are unemployed and have had to go on to social assistance. And the good part is they know they have a place they can come to in Fort Erie where they're welcomed. I'm thinking I did volunteer work with the newcomers, and for instance, a lot of them have never seen canned goods. The countries they come from, they eat fresh fruits and vegetables. They arrive in a country, they don't know the language, they don't know the culture or the customs, uh, they don't know how to read labels, and they're really in a quandary. And some of the courses they're offering here are excellent for that. They, they, they have shopping courses where they'll take people to the grocery stores and teach them how to shop, teach them how to read labels, uh, help them learn. I, they have a cooking course for healthy cooking. And that would also be helpful, I'm thinking, for uh, young moms, teenage moms, and a lot of people that are on social assistance, teaching them how to shop wisely, buy healthy foods, but you can get healthy foods and still not have to pay a huge price for them. Uh, the other thing about Bridges is that they, they cater to the very young and the very old. They've got cooking courses for children and, and courses that young moms can take. And then they have a lot of courses for the seniors, uh, dealing uh, exercise for fall prevention. Uh, they deal with anxiety and stresses and a lot of chronic conditions that affect older people. So they, they cover everyone. It's open to everyone. And the wonderful thing is everything is free. Um, I've also, Bridges do so much for the community. They've had cooking, um, actually in my apartment. My daughter was involved, I helped with that. Um, there's so many different aspects to the Bridges community. It's not just a doctor's office, it's, it's a whole community of everything, dietitians, specialists, everything. Um, I would recommend Bridges because of the fact that um, if you need something, it's, it will probably be here. You know, whether it's quitting smoking, uh, nutrition and health, or some uh, pain management, for instance. Uh, you know, a proper doctor that will see you thir uh, for thorough things and take care of you properly. I have a lot of gratitude towards Bridges in that uh, They've given me the confidence to know that I can rescue myself. Uh, I don't have to rely on the police. Uh, they make me feel like, uh, for some reason, this guy, retired on a pension, disabled, is worthwhile. And uh, that's what keeps me coming back. These people really care.